Uh, hello, this is a note about downloading and installing. Well, the w first step is downloading, and then we have another video on installing. But this is downloading official government charts that will be in the encrypted S63 format. So for international, U.S. charts are free. They're in the S57 format, and they're free. But the rest of the world, their charts are in the uh, uh, encrypted S63 format. And eventually, uh, sailing uh, around the world, we would want to look at some official charts. And we have various articles that show why it's important to have some official charts to use, even if you use others. And, and we have an excellent way to practice the whole process, plus getting the full set of charts for uh, the country of New Zealand. New Zealand is unique as the only other uh, prominent maritime uh, country beside the U.S. that offers all of their navigational charts for free. The distinction is they offer them in a S63 encrypted format. And I want to show the process for downloading those and then installing those in, in one of several different uh, different programs. So here is the page. Now this whole business has a certain background. Let me see where that background would be. Here's an article in our blog, and I'll put a link to all these things we're going to talk about. S63 encrypted international charts. And so you go to our blog, and I'm not going to go over, well, I've gone over some of it now. Here shows why you care about that. Uh, getting the right charts and so forth. And so there's an article which is critical that you, crucial please, that you read that before understanding what we're doing here. Uh, the next is we have a book, our, also our textbook on electronic charts, has a discussion has a discussion of this process and the virtue of it. And you can actually, and uh, this is the book, and you can read about that book in the free sample that's listed here. Okay, so let, let's get right to it. And so first of all, how do we get there? Let me, I want to show you that this is very easy to get to and I do it with an incognito so it doesn't know history about what I've looked up or what I've Googled or anything. So, but, so that means you can do it on any chart. And if you just put in N-Z-E-N-C, N-Z-E-N-C, and you hit it, you're going to get the right place right there the first time. Okay. And so here is, uh, then you'll come to that link, and this is, what it, this is what it looks like when you get there. And so how to get started, uh, you can read through that, but I would just say uh, register, because the, the, you, their charts are free, but you do have to get a free uh, account with the, with the company, with the New Zealand uh, Chart Service. And so here's where you do that. Oh, this is a login. This is register. Uh, okay, here's where you put in your information if you want to get uh, a, a name. So you choose a username and a password and a contact name, company name. You just fill in this information and so forth. And uh, here now is that now you'll read about this in that supplementary material. What the, the charts are unique not just to a computer, they're unique to an operating system, to a navigation program, like Expedition, QTVLM, uh, Time Zero, whatever. So you have to get the user permit from the program, and that's discussed in those notes. So, and that's a 28-character number right here, 28 characters. And so you have to put, you decide where am I gonna put these charts and then you have to get the permit from that software which we explain other places. Here's a dongle and I'm not covering dongles right now but that, 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 that's something else. And so here, navigation system and you would just put something like, uh, oh, uh, expedition on the boat PC or something, something like that. Uh, your intended use, I don't know what we put marine education, you'd put recreational use or something, and, the, and your vessel's name. And here then, ahead of time, now this is pre a little ahead of time because we're not ready to download the charts, but here's where you tell them what charts you're gonna wanna care about. And you, if you know the area, you could just click this stuff off, or a very nice picture here where you graphically choose the area you want. And if you choose this one, for example, it also brings in these, uh, these areas up here. So you could say, I want the North Island and the South Island, or you could go down and get all of these, but let's just say you want those two and you select those. All right, and then at that point, uh, add another system. No, you say you're not a robot and you submit it. And that's it, that takes minutes and is totally uninvasive. 
then in a day or they um they say actually longer, but I think it's usually been the next day or the following day when you'll get back a username and a temporary password. And then you come back and log in. And you log in with your username and password. And then you can change your password if you care to later. Uh, log in. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, then go to, wait a minute, log in. Okay, log in, and then go to, uh, you want to go to systems and subscriptions. Systems and subscriptions. Now, what you will have, I have two of these, two different uh, uh, systems, but you will have one of these. One of these here, it'll look like this. And uh, then the, the important step is this plus sign. You got to look at this plus sign and click that plus sign. And then you go here and you need all three of these files. So you download this one, this one, this one. They're not very big. These are all real small files. And that's all you need from here. Uh, then you would go back, download charts. And then you'll download two sets of charts and these will come as a zip file. That's a zip file, 85 megabytes. That's your main set of charts right here. And these are the, uh, these are the, um, updates to the charts uh, in the file structure which let me say our textbook explains how all the S57 and X60, S63 chart file structures have to be. The, you, you, the file structure uh, has to be correct but that's all explained in the textbook. So download both of these and then I think we're almost done. You download those and I think I'm done almost with the video. Then here I've got S63 and Zealand parts. Let me open that up. So here's what you're going to, here's the three files we downloaded separately. This one, this one, and uh, you got the, you've got the permit, you got the certificate, and then you got this PMT file. This is a copy. This is, a, I think I got this from Expedition, but this is a copy of my 28 character uh, user permit. So we have to keep in mind there's two numbers that we, two objects that we care about for this business. One is called a user permit permit that's a 28 character number the other thing is called a permit.txt which is a file that is uniquely locating each of the charts you care to download with the particular system that you've got so you need both of those and they have similar names but they have similar different roles so then you've got this zip and this and when you unzip this file that's the main, no, that base, that's the main charts. You unzip that, you get this folder. Now, we're going to be able to just drop that folder in by itself, uh, maybe. I've got that, show, you show that in the next video. But here's what we need. This is the actual chart information, and this is various other things. But for now, that doesn't matter. The thing that matters is we want a folder on the desktop of the navigation program we're going to use where we've got the base folder, we've got the cumulative folder, and we've got these three files. PMT, certificate, and permit.txt. Okay, once you have that, you're done, and we'll go on to the next video. I've got uh, one on uh, how to install this into Expedition, for example, or into QT, VLM, and I think OpenCPN. Okay, thank you. That's the end of that.